fabulous shop. Good afternoon and welcome to the Michigan Open here in Battle Creek, Michigan. Our next match for today is Christina De Crystal De Kach and Fan Yu Shen from Chinese Taipei. In the commentary booth for this match, I have another champion in the booth, Eric Gorleifson and myself, Tim de Ruiter. What do you think about this match here, Eric? Pleased to be with you guys. Uh, yeah, we're coming in at a pretty close Fargo. Catch is at 729, Fan is at a 713. I think Fan's a little lesser known in the North American circuit, but she had a ninth place finish at the Las Vegas Open. A few years back, she was 17th at the World Nine Ball. I think most of you are familiar with Catch. Probably make her a bit of a favorite based on experience, but uh, obviously Fan's a good player too. Have you ever seen her play, Tim? I have not seen her play I yet. I haven't so. either. Yeah. So I think they, they seated, there was 48 women, they seated 16 of them, and Fan came in as unseated, even though she is one of the stronger players in the tournament. She won her first round match, uh, two sets to zero. Looking forward to seeing her play. Yeah, and the dry break from Christina leaves Fan a good opportunity here with the one in the open and a possible 2-10 combination yeah. for early win. Yeah, I'm favoring the combo here. The, that was the other play come across. I got a little bit in between. Could still opt to play the carom into the 10. Mm -hmm. I think it's just thick enough that she can hold the angle with draw. Little nip draw over the right side rail. So we are playing two races to four, two sets. And in case we tie one each, we will go to a deciding shootout. It's always nerve wracking and Loving the format when we reach the single elimination stages. Yeah, no no reason to think this one couldn't go to a shootout. Well, we never know. But if we reach the single elimination stage, we will add another set. And the shootout will go if this final set will go hill hill. So a little bit more play when we get to the single elimination. Got a little short on the four ball. Yeah, and it doesn't look like the five passes the nine, so best case scenario should be on a combo situation there. Looks like the cue ball's running into the six here. It does stop around that area. Yeah, just too thin, had to play safe. Got it. Yeah, I did find the cover, and I think she might have bumped the five ball just enough, so it goes now. She did, so the, the battle for this rack will be on the four. Likely whoever gets the first shot on the four will win the rack. I mean, the four is a little away from the short rail where it's a, getting tough to, to stick the cue ball there, but I think she can. You almost feel like the seven's bigger than the four here. She called the the corner pocket. And I think she called the four in the corner pocket. Yeah, we'll have to find the perfect gap. Yeah, I think she was just trying to get the separation. Caught it a little bit thin. And... Could have left way worse on this four ball. Yeah, I don't I don't see playing the four straight in the pocket. Um, you know, there's an aggressive bank option. Safe. Is she able to cut it still and go three rails? Miss the 10? Oh, yeah. Good call. Oh, a little soft, though. Don't think that nine ball came into play, but holding the cue ball for the six ball, that is the trick here. I think she's going for a jump cue. Nine ball did get her. Oh, so. If you play a bit of draw on this, cue ball is going to the right. Going to have an open shot on the six. Obviously tough to pocket the five. But well, you're going to land on the five ball. So I think you don't even have to play much draw. Good call, yeah. Oh, uh, caught the top, top side, yeah. yeah. Open look for to catch here. Yeah, all the hard work is done here. Only got to maintain a couple angles. Christina's always been near the top of the women's game, but it seems like she's getting even closer to the very top. She uh, she had a semifinal finish in the World Nine Ball Championships last year. A couple good finishes in 
other Predator Women's Pro Series events and WPBA events. She's playing all the time. Well, and also in Europe, for a long period of time, she was really dominating as well. The Women Euro Tour, she was sky high in the rankings. She was number one and not even close with the number two. Uh, most of the European Youth Championships, and then after the Women's Championships, she won a bunch of them. Right, so she's so, used to winning. How old yeah. is she now? Would, would, could you make a guess? <laughs> Guessing 23-ish. Okay. So, yeah, at that age, also already winning so many of them. No I think winning is in your system at some point. Yeah. This is a tough shot, though. She might just go for make the eight and take a long nine. Yeah, I couldn't really hit that one with speed. Oh. Uh, did hit it at a good speed, but just barely overcut it. Nice try there. Yeah, a little just back and forth here, though. Maybe yeah. a little early nerves, yeah. both players. Just mis misjudge how much she had to draw the seven. There was a little too much angle on it, so she did want to hit it at a lower speed. Biggest thing that got her there was bridging over the ten. The fan looks strong from the shots I've seen her hit. Yeah, not much due to do. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to move the cue ball around here. Yeah, just stay on the rail. Don't force anything. So, Fan Yu Shen. Takes the first rack here. A little nervy start from both players. Eventually, it's gonna settle down for, for Fan. I would expect. I, I would expect so. Both both players are high level players. So you're off to the U.S. Open next week. Yeah, yeah. I'm. Uh, I left the house for five weeks and. Uh, Get the opportunity to also do a commentary in the, in Austria, the World Women's Ten Ball Championships, World Men's Eight Ball Championships, and the World Junior Championships. So. And World Team too, right? Oh no, no World, World Team, team is in yeah, Puerto, Puerto Rico. Rico yeah. Pardon me. Yeah. yeah, that's not this trip, but that's at the end of the year. Also looking forward to that one. Mm -hmm. Bunch of great events, all run by CSI and Predator. Predator Group. Putting a lot of effort in these events, trying to grow pool and making sure also the amateur side is growing. And making sure the players deserve the recognition they should be getting. Oh, it's about time. <laughs> Going with the side rail break here. Hit it with good power. Nice and square as well. Almost made the four railer in the corner. Oh, and that four... Just push the two ball to a tough position. Don't think there is a two five combination. And then also just to cut the one is also not a guaranteed. Yeah. Do you like playing safe off the right side of the one or maybe drawing the cue ball over there, to the I left? I think there's two shots. You can also play the left side, play with a lot of spin and bank the one ball two rails down behind the six seven. Right. And bring the cue ball yeah. Behind that. the four, behind the two five. There's a couple options. You're right. Nice shot. Well, yeah, perfect shot. And especially I like it this way because if you play a good one ball, you have the chance to maneuver the two a little bit more. Okay, it's still blocked now, but in case it, it could have been open, exactly, you, you yeah. did two in one shot. Yeah, you don't have to. You don't have to win two safety battles. You're trying to develop the two, so you only win one. Yeah, that was the right shot. Get enough spin on that ball because she was queuing over top. Oh, ball. and look at this. Lined up the ten. Oh. Mm. Yeah, just barely caught that six ball. And so. oh, this really worked out for Christina. Yeah, quick, t tied it up quickly here. So one each, Christina to catch. Nice safety on the one, though. Played it well. And then a little fortunate roll to get the combo. So you've seen her playing in tournaments for a while in Europe? Like she was playing when she was like 10 or 13, like that young? Yeah, yeah, yeah. like she was 
I think the first time I seen her European Championships was 14, 15. Okay. So and then she was already you know, starting to win those. So wow. by the age when she got 18, 19, the end of the juniors, she was already becoming at the top of the women's. Right. The only women that was really making it tough was uh, Jasmine Ocean. Right. Yeah. So they were at some point sharing, and then Jasmine, she stopped playing the European tour for a little bit. Mm -hmm. And that's where Christina really just, yeah, al almost robbing. Like it was, you knew beforehand. But then at some point, the other players starting to catch up because they were starting to learn from Christina. Ladies like Christina Slateva from yeah. Bulgaria is one of them that has been just keeping, she kept improving, kept playing the tournaments, and now they're both here. So Right. Yeah, there's there's got to be a, at least eight good women players from Europe now. Fafalova, Slateva, Filler. Yeah, th and then there is a couple that don't travel to the U.S. Okay. We have uh, Anna Grodisnik from Slovenia. She plays good, and she always competes with them, but she just doesn't really travel overseas. Okay. She'll be in Austria, probably. Most likely, yeah. Yeah. So, good break. Nice opening again. Two and a three looking good. Go for the five. Yeah, she Got she her. really tried to spin around the, the five ball. And especially with the new Arcadia cloth on this TV table, it just did not grab. Yeah, I wonder if she was still trying to come inside. It just kind of overspun it. Got to try to kick this one in. Yeah, you got to try to go for the right side of the three, minimum. If you don't make it, you can still get lucky with some separation. No rail. Yeah, I played it a little soft, though. Mm -hmm. I think a little bit more speed could have worked out, but, I mean, it's still tough from here. That seven ball is really tough, and yeah. I, there is no 7-10 combination on that. What do you think about developing the seven here? What, what would your plan be for developing it? I don't quite see anything yet. I mean, you could obviously go into it right now, but that's not going to help you on the four. No. Yeah, the only thing I can imagine is getting to the right side of the five and then go two rails into the seven. I think what she's going to do is come near the rail side of the four. Oh, yeah. I and then stun over, but it didn't look like she ended up doing it. But that. also from that angle to nudge either the seven or the ten is pretty low percentage, mm -hmm. I think. So the only thing I can imagine is being on the on the right side of the five and then travel a couple rails. Could just back off and play safe on the seven too. Just get an angle where you can kind of if stop the if cue ball can, near the if nine. If she can get to the bottom side of the table, not get behind the ten, she might be able to roll up on the nine. Even the top side. Just kind of get on the angle that she was just on right now. Stick the cue ball there. Maybe even take a shot at comboing the ten in like a two-way. Go rail first. Yeah. Seven into the rail, yeah. She is high in the cue ball, though. No. Yeah, she's just going to play that shot where she covers the okay. seven with the nine. Low percentage chance at, she, at making the ten, but you got to go for it. Well, it know? actually yeah. looks like she's pretty straight to making the ten. If she hits it head on. Yeah, I agree. It's definitely going near the pocket. Biggest element to this shot is if she doesn't make the ten, the cue ball is going to be hidden by the nine. I wouldn't be too focused on making the 10, though. Yeah, make sure you get the cue make ball sure, first. Make sure you, yeah. yeah it's called the 10. Nice play, it's in. Yeah, there it goes. What a shot. And I think she covered the 7 regardless, yeah. Great Be shot. Beautiful run out as well. Smart, I mean, smart play there. I mean, you know, my first intuition for whatever reason was break out the seven, the seven nine, but that was that was a good play yeah, overall. I agree. I like how she hit the first break too. Good power, square. This TV table, I mean, the players breaking from the side rails, the middle of the rack hasn't been separating. So like you've seen a lot of dry breaks, right? Which is you know a common-ish theme. In, in the pro series. 
But I think, you know, taking note that the table's not breaking as well from the sides and considering breaking from the middle. It is a tougher break to execute from the middle. I mean, you got to go close bridge, you know. Yeah, and it, I think this, you will give more nice spreads for your opponents that, as well. If you don't make a ball, you leave everything in the open. That's absolutely the flip side of it, and I think a lot of players are just resigning to the fact that the, a lot of the racks are going to be grinding safe racks, maneuvering racks, and that's actually really interesting to see for the fans. Cut that one a little more. Almost made the four railer again. Almost made the one, but left the shot. Yeah, the two ball doesn't really go in many pockets, though. But if she can get yeah, to where she can go in between the four and the seven, she might be having another 2-10 combo. Yeah, she's a favorite on the combo. Just got to get the cue ball over there. She's a little straight. I mean, you'd be cheating the thin part of the pocket to I'm get the cue ball over there. Guessing she's got a full draw it. Try to get just in front of the left side pocket. Could be that too, yeah. Yeah, you're not going to get enough energy if you follow it. But the draw, the cue ball is kind of going to the to the right. Probably only another shot she could play is just to drop the one ball in and play the carom on the 10. Mm, but then the again, top. the combo is easier than the carom, but... Just got to get the cue ball over to the left side of the table for that. You're right, yeah. Oh, little nudge, and actually the nudge really helped her out. Yeah, she's there. Tough start for Fan if uh, Catch makes two combos within four shots in the first three games. Yeah, you're feeling good. You're running out a couple of games, and then your opponent just stays with you, even though she's not doing right, much. Right. Right. And there's no knock on Christina. She's she's playing the right shots. It's just how the, it's just how the racks have gone so far. Oh, Ooh. yeah, just got on the low angle where it wasn't quite as obvious how much you had to cut the two. I mean, if she's straight on to that combo, she'd never miss, but it just kind of had to judge how much to cut the two into the 10 there and didn't just under judged it a little bit. Yeah, so another lifeline for Fen Yu Shen. Try to get the cue ball behind the six. Difficult shot, though. Yeah. This is a tough shot. She played this really good. Yeah, nice shot. It was a big scratch, especially with how the cue ball still slides off the rail. Smallest chance of a window there. Christina's just going over to look, but I have a feeling there's not. Oh, oh. she's not going for the jump cue. Wow, caught a window. Can't tell if it's, she's able to pocket it or has to play safe. She's going to try and roll up behind the nine real soft. So tough, though. The speed on... On hitting the two ball so thin, it's so scary. Mm -hmm. Gonna see a safe here. Likely two rails trying to play the cue ball in line with the four seven. Could get aggressive and try to hide it behind the three, but I'd favor the four seven. Well, she could spin the cue ball one rail behind the four seven and bang well. the two ball over behind the nine. Yeah, pick. two balls going uh, towards the nine for sure. Went with that thin option, favored going behind the three. Uh, no cover. Little hampered by the six, though. Mm. Tough safe here. I think she'll be calling her extension if she hasn't called it yet. She Problem could ba try to bang the two behind the three six and bring the cue ball up to the top right corner of the table see that there's not much else it's not a shot you typically want to play but there's not much else went with a slow roll again behind the eight yeah see the problem with that is the cue ball is never going to come wide enough around the five i guess she's trying to line the nine up in, in between the two and the yeah. cue ball but but then like the two ball she tried to play before is such a thin contact and then to have the perfect speed it's almost scary to shoot a shot like that on new equipment mm -hmm. Yeah, she was in a bit of a trap there. It's a tough spot. Oh, this is a little firm. This is a little firm. I think she might have to back off here. She can make it, but Cuba will be running into the six. 
safe would be playing the cue ball behind the six. Maybe there's something where you just or, nudge the three to the or right. Or distance again, yeah. Yeah, nudge the three to the right and try to get the, the one of the four, seven, ten stacking between the cue ball and the three. Cue ball maybe behind the nine, one rail. I'm, I'm thinking ten even. Oh, yeah, she just... played it super thin and... This was tough. I was thinking of thicker contact and then bring the cue ball up. I hear you. Yeah, I think I was just would have had to draw it. Just over hit the speed there. So there is a combination. It's not a gimme. And for sure to control the three ball, that is the the biggest trick. Yeah, the three is gonna be contacting the the six thinly, so almost feel like you might have to draw out of it. But then can you get enough draw on the cue ball to free the cue ball up as well? No. Ooh. She decided not to shoot it. I like this, though. No risk. That nine ball might have blocked the left long rail, though. Yes. If that worked out for her, then this ended up really tough. Yeah, she can hit the right side of the three, but the cue ball will be going right into the pocket. Looks like she still has enough of the left side rail to make a kick here. Left the shot. Half tester. Position's fairly natural, though. Just got to be a little bit leery of the scratch going across table, but she should be okay. Well, the pocket still grabs quite a lot, though. Mm -hmm. So wouldn't be too surprised if it still slides in, catching a little thick. Oh, she played it quite firm. She went up aggressive. and down. Okay. Yeah. Like getting straight, trying to get straight on the five here, and just power drawing straight back, or I think I like it that way. Yeah, as long as you can move the cue ball far enough to the right, which looks like she has a small angle going to the right. Nah, I got straight. See, this is trouble. And then also that seven ball comes into play a little bit, cueing wise. Yeah, I mean, she she can play the long position here, but it just makes the whole the whole progression of the run out a little bit tougher if you don't. She did drop down really fast, though. Yeah, I wouldn't mind taking a little bit more time. I'm, this is not I'm, extremely easy. Yeah, I mean, she just she just decided that she's going to take the long shot on the six, and I feel like this one has to be a slow roll. The way we were thinking, you know, we were trying to take care of the problem earlier, getting real good on the six quicker. But if she plays a good shot here, she can get in line on the seven. And the good thing, good. though, she could be... As long as she comes up too high, it doesn't matter. She will always have a shot on the seven. Right. So don't baby it. Just make sure you make the shot. Good shot. Yeah, it's good recovery. Just kind of played the more conservative route there, but she's right in line now. Yeah, did get the first opportunity this wreck, but missed the 210 combo. Now. Three more balls to tie the score to each. Perfect angle on the nine. Guessing she's playing two rails, always running towards the 10 ball. I would, yeah. Make sure you play into the angle here. Nice shot. Got nice and close. There he goes, two each. Just notice how she hit that ball with a bit of authority too, right? Just for the, the viewers at home, you would never want to roll that ball in. You know, always play the last ball at near medium speed if you can. Why would you do that? It's just, you can let up on your stroke, you know, the, the, the ball cuts more naturally at a medium speed. Well, and the danger of having a skid as well, that too. in human yeah. conditions. Yeah. That's yeah, a good tip. I saw, I, saw, I saw a couple already, uh, a couple skids on the front table. Well, that is one thing, especially on the new tables, the new cloth. And yeah, if there is just a little dirt, it could be chalk, could be so many different things. Yeah, it really catches the skid real fast. Mm -hmm. 
just want to be positive on your on your forward stroke, right? You know, any, you know, there's certain shots like she shot on the six. Obviously, she has to hit it at a slower speed. That's the only shot. But you know, if if you can try to keep your your pace pace of, you're hitting the ball around like five out of ten speed, that's always a good sign. Good break. Got lots of power. Hit the yeah. one. Oh, Open up the two as well. Yeah, that five ball is a lucky bump. Four is covering the pocketing angle. It's close. I, if I were to guess, I'd say she has it. I think. I think it goes. Yeah. I think it's okay and pretty good spread. Mm -hmm. Maybe just maintaining an angle to get to the bottom of the table. The five could be somewhat tough. Yeah, a couple hold shots here. Killed the ball nicely there. Get on the right side of the floor. Rest the rack plays out pretty good. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think now she might have to play for the bottom side on the four and then travel to the five. Mm. Don't it, think she can get on the top side. She'd want the drawing angle to be going to the side rail. If it does, she'll power it back. There it goes. Oh, I think she Barely just got, got there. there. Yeah. yeah. No, that's a good shot. Hit it really smooth. She's not overhitting the ball either. She's timing the ball well. Could just play this with some right spin. Make sure that. Just try to get the cue ball as close to the middle of the table as you can. Nine's going to be too sharp to play in the sides. She's only going to be playing the nine in the corner. Lies well from where the eight's sitting right now is too. High level match so far. Not much between them. Yeah, they are not missing any balls or mm -hmm. making weird decisions. They have been executing quite nice as well. Mm -hmm. So far, quite impressed with both ladies. Putting up a good show. So the winner of this match will advance to the final 16 for the women on the winner's side. And the final 8 from the original draw will make the final 16 redraw portion of the tournament. So the winner of this match will have two chances to make it to the redraw stage. Got a little too much angle here, but she'll manage. Yeah, again, make sure you play pocket speed. Yeah, again, medium medium speed. She could choose to just float it in as well. She doesn't have to come down to... Oh, she did change her tip position. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. I've seen her do that before, and that's one, that's one of the only odd things I've seen her do. I like kind of cue at the top of the ball and then just move the tip down it, to the bottom. It, it the worked, ball. though. She's going to level the score, but I was just wondering, just float the ball and, and yeah, cross over and take a longer 10. And but, then the last second, she changed it. Well, but did you know, it It, it actually wasn't that she, did, that she decided to shoot a different shot. I've seen her do that other times just when she's cueing low. She'll start high and then move down on the cue ball. I've never seen any other player do that. It's a sighting thing, I guess. Maybe, yeah. So, two each. Good match so far. 3-2 for, for Christina now. Oh, 3-2? Yeah. Oh. Forgot to know that one now. Yeah, strong fields in both the men and the women's Michigan Open here. Many great players, a bunch of Filipinos, like always. At the end of the year, they like to come over, get in the grease. See from France, Alex Montpellier playing. Gerson Martinez and Wojciech Chevchik. Yeah, a bunch of good players. Good break and nice chance on the one ball. 
Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna have to follow this one. She's over top of the two. She might be able with left spin to just Q besides the two ball. I see that, and that would actually help her going towards the two as well. Yeah, leave yourself long and then go around the angles to go back up for the three. I think that's her best option. Yeah, I see that. I see Depending that if the three ball goes in the top left. I think it doesn't, so that, that's going to play a factor overall. But she still could play a one rail back toward, like, play the cue ball back towards the seven. She was actually down looking at the angle. She almost ha might have to go rail first here. Well, you will need more left spin and top spin, though. She did go rail first, and yeah. she hit it well, but the pocket just didn't accept the ball. Hmm. Yeah, just that little piece too wide. Yeah. And that, that's how she missed the eight as well. These tables, too, do play bigger on the inside rail than the outside of the pocket. And, you know, players know that. Well, usually with the newer cloth, it's always that way. For sure. And then when you play on the old it's club tables, it's the then it's the opposite, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, did she? I think she just got there. Yeah, she's okay. But I, from here, I don't like to go towards the seven anymore. But can you even go towards it? You're just going to play the combo into the seven? I mean, you, you could just play some left spin. So the three off the up. rail, seven, and then in? Yeah. I think you just play it up like... Well, she played with inside spin, make the angle, and... Wow, she just got there. Yeah, I was thinking about more inside, come past the side pocket. But she ended up good. I mean, it wasn't an easy shot. She's still still alive here on the run out. Could run into the four. Could I, play it all the way up and down. I like running into the four. Mm -hmm. Any solid contact on the four is going to result in any shot. But she played it quite firm, though. Yeah, just didn't end up where she wanted. Oh, she's looking at cutting the four to this, the side. This is aggressive. The cue ball is going to be flying. Tough cut angle, too. It's going to either hit the eight or the ten. There's not really much position you can play on that five ball. Mm -hmm. Other side of it isn't the safe, is it? She could roll up on the six. Yeah, I see that. I think I like that better. Oh. Didn't have to hit it quite as hard as we thought. Yeah, it wasn't that thin, and believe it or not, she got really nice on the combo on the oh, seven. Oh, she's good here. What a great first set we've had. This is this is to run out to go hill hill here. Nice and solid. We'll have to do a little cue ball work though on the six. Yeah, I'm liking three rails here. How about you? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Stick. If you come up too short, you still have the six in the bottom right. Mm -hmm. If you get the nice speed going on, you have the stop shot to the side. So it's thin enough that the cue ball is going to travel around the rail. Just make sure you fall through long enough on a shot like this. Yeah, see, she extended her fall through. Good player. Can tell by how she hits the ball. I mean, it's easy to say she landed perfect, but when I watch players play, I, I look at their fundamentals, how they're delivering the cue, all those things. She's, I can tell right away she's a strong player. Yeah, just float this one in, then go two rails up to the 10. No, she went the other way. Play the short pocket or, or just be, be confident enough that you won't miss the long pocket? I, I don't know. I think she can still cheat the pocket just a little bit and draw just next to the 10. Yeah. Put the 10 in the same pocket as the 8. But Yeah, that's the right shot. Kind of tempting, though, when you don't have to move the cue ball at all, right? But you just want to avoid those long pockets whenever you can. So to get on the on the hill here. Oh, oh it's it. Oh, oh no way! And the she ball hit it. Get it. Oh. Did you see it though? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I seen it. Oh, the, wow. The ball twisted on her. Well, it's also she played it a little pushy <sighs> and not really struck the ball and. Like more on the stun side instead of falling, you mean? But yeah, the, yeah, the ball did, didn't cut properly. It skidded for sure. Yeah, it skidded yeah. for sure. Absolutely, yeah. but. Maybe also because she didn't strike it as nice as she did the other shots. Ooh, that's a tough roll there. Yeah, Jeez. so Christina steals the set for the two.
and she's also taking a small break, and so are we. We'll what be right back. Welcome back. Well, players just left, uh, just entered the arena. We are ready for set number two. Christian Tekac won the first set. A little lucky though. The huge kid on that temple. Yeah, it was, for a, Shen. It was a really highly, highly level played set. Um, Christina had two combos and then cut, and then the skid on the 10 and the sixth round. Both players barely made any mistakes, so played some good saves. Be, should be in for another good one here. So Christina started the first set breaking. That's why Shen is now starting the second set. And no ball on the break and is left the one ball wide open. And 
You know, that four railer keeps almost going in the bottom right corner. That one would actually would have gone in, but it kissed the ball on the way to the pocket. Like trying to draw the cue ball back inside the nine here. Straight back. Straight draw, draw yeah. Just trying to not catch the nine. Just scary though, if you hit a little bit firm, you might get close to the side. Like, let's say you over hit the ball just a little bit. It's speed sensitive. Nice shot. Yeah, played it good. Just enough angle to hold it. I think the safer play is trying to hold it. You're going to have more distance between the cue ball and the three, but you're playing yourself into a spot where you have an angle on the three, and you're going to need one to move towards the four. Yeah, so now yeah, it's either go back or try to go around the four. I'm favoring going around it, but I feel like that angle is kind of running into it as well. The good thing, though, is I think even if you bump the four, in many ways she will still end up with something. Right. Looks this like way, is, if... She is going to draw it. Yeah. Oh, she did, she did well. She caught a little bit thicker. Cheat the pocket. There was just so many ifs to play it this way. But she usually draws a cue ball quite a lot as well. That's her style, okay. too. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it leads to putting a good firm stroke on the ball. Some positives to it. Definitely positives to following the ball, too. It's easier to judge what exactly where the cue ball's going. That's a nice shot. Oh, and nice bump on the eight, too. Yeah. I think she can beat the scratch going forward, but... Coming two rails forward from there is kind of leading into the 10. So she might just play like might, a soft draw. Yeah, I think yeah. I might just don't run into the 10, land on the long rail and take a more cut on the 6. You right. will have to go up table anyways. Yeah, the thick the, the 6 is very makeable, so it doesn't really matter if you get perfect on it or not. Just like that. Yeah. Like playing the thin side of the 6 here, make, trying to get the cue ball going towards the... Long rail could also draw it and get into the short rail. Looks like she's going for that. Oh, she did that high cueing and then down again. See yeah, that? It, I, it looks like she's trying to feel the shot a little bit by doing that. Like, how low am I gonna go? Like, she's Let's still see. guessing in the shot. Let's see what she does here. S starts high, stays high on this one. Hmm. Could get close to the corner. No, she played with spin. Right. I was gonna say just high was gonna be scary. So with the eight in front of the side, she's off to a good start. So just for the viewers at home, what she did there was she was able to pocket the ball thicker with right spin, and she made the natural angle of the cue ball go wider. That's a kind of advanced play that a lot of players don't really see until playing for a long, long time. Just hit this one thin, come back to where the cue ball is right now. A little in between going to the rail or not. She'll she'll know what shot she likes. Probably put some more speed into it. Play the cue ball to the rail. Yeah, usually when players choose this way, they feel confident. Sure. And when they don't feel that confident, they just stop the cue ball right there and take whatever they can get. Definitely. But the way to lean towards there is, you know, be confident in your stroke. If you if you have to let your stroke out, that can be a good thing sometimes, right? Yeah. So early blood for Christina the Crystal to catch. She looks strong here, actually. Broke the serve in that game. Broken ran one rack in the first set. Well, both players so far have been looking good. Sure. Cannot imagine Fan being very disappointed at herself so far. The only thing she has done, well, wrong, 
is not really the right word, but she's only missed that 10 ball right. earlier, and that's, and that's it. an odd contact, yeah. Yeah, so not really something you could be disappointed about so far. Mm -hmm. And if you are a fan, I mean, just, you know, there's not, you, you said it right, it's, there's nothing to be upset about. Just wait for your next chance, and it's a short race. You can still level it within one game in this set, and you only need one set to force a shootout. Hit the rack square. Look at the 10 over the pocket and fans. Is that eight ball coming these. to the rescue? No. Fans going to get one of these early combo games now. Going to be tied up at one here within about 15 seconds, I think. Yeah, early, early game here. Early win. Cannot imagine someone missing that. So one each. Three cool. early 10 so far within uh, nine games. Yeah. Eight games. Yeah, not all of them were in front of the corner either. Mm -hmm. Just just in the open and... Just happened to line up. Yeah. Well, the only thing, and I think the ref also seen it, is that the temple is moving just a hair to the right every time, even though it when, like, sometimes it just moves maybe two balls to the right, and sometimes it drops to the short rail on the right, so it... Kind of, there is something going on. Yeah, they got to make sure that. So that'll that'll typically happen if the six isn't frozen to the ten, or the nine isn't frozen to the ten. Just got to watch the right side of the rack there if you're the ref. Yeah, that's why he's he's putting a little bit more effort into it. He's, of course, trying to not have this happen. Sure. You know, before the people are starting to doubt that, so. Oh yeah, it's. I'm glad that he is able to s to recognize the the problem and trying to change it. Yep. So Fan Yu Shen, breaking, wreck number three. Going from the middle, she's like, she's going all in here. It decently well. Look at the 10 again. Jeez. Man, there's space on that side of the rack. Hmm. Well, also, this time she didn't really hit it that square. Right. So if you hit it a, a little bit more on the side, and you're going to push. It'll tend to push it that way. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. So, but then still to almost make it in the corner that, yeah. Hmm. But I am expecting Christina to go for the run out here as she can drop the one in, be straight on the two. Yeah. There's a 6-8 combo. I don't really foresee any big problems. Yeah, oddly, the first five or six balls, even even really the whole rack doesn't lie into playing the combo. You could get really aggressive and shoot the four into the ten, and she actually went below the four and looked at that. Would you? I, I, I wouldn't. I mean, what if you get... Kind of I don't off. really see why, as there isn't the six eight is not that tough as a combination. The five is next to it, so you don't really have to move the cue ball to get there. Yeah, I think she she just. And if you play the six eight combo, and now the six moves away a little bit from you, then you can still play the combo. Right. So you can play it two ways. And the six will be moving towards the ten as well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she did go below it, Tim. Look at that. Wow. I guess the variable there is what if you don't get great on the combo and then you miss the combo all of a sudden? Well, maybe she also feels like this is a hanger. I mean, it, it, if you feel like you will never miss this combo, then why not shoot it? I, yeah, I get it. I mean, you know, as long as you get the cue ball in a decent area, which she did, even though it's not perfect, she's good enough that she's a big favor to make this. Oh, she she's missed, missed it. it. Wow. I think there was a little body movement there as well. And there, look, look what she's left here. It's it's makeable, though. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, it could be it could be a foregone Just look, when she struck the cue ball, that body moved that little bit forward, and you tend to hit the ball a little thicker that way. Yeah. Kind of plays with your mind sometimes, those, those combos like that, and obviously it did. 
Yeah, it was a good, good chance to push through for Christina, but it's Fenn that takes the lead in this set. 2-1. Yeah, and this one could hurt as well. This one could take a little confidence away from Christina. Never had expected to miss the combo. Oh yeah, a big big swing there being being ahead a game and two away from the hill or or being down a game and three away from the hill. Every game is big in these race to four formats. I mean, well, you well, played that, in a few of the yeah, yeah. events. Yeah. Well, and also you know Christina's trying to get it over with. And the uh, yeah, and Fan is obviously trying to still get it to a shootout. Right. The moment now she's missed the ten ball, she Christina could be thinking, "Oh no, it's not. I'm over. starting to get to the shootout." And if she loses the set, now Fan is favorite in the shootout just because she was the. She has the momentum. Yeah, she has the momentum exactly. Yeah. So there is funny things that can get in your head just by missing this one combo. I agree. Going back to the middle. Yeah, just the only thing I would say, hey, take some speed off and make sure you have it square. Right. Hit it square. Yeah. Hands going that way again, but didn't hang up this time. Made a ball. Got a shot on the one. Oh, I don't know if Christina saw she made a ball. She didn't. It kind of slid in the it kind of slid in the side conspicuously. She she really didn't know she made a ball. <laughs> yeah. Well, not an easy opening shot though. Yeah, I mean, reaching from the corner, you got you have to draw back on this one. The only thing that saves her is she, she's shooting through the pocket, but she still has to elevate a little bit. Tough shot. Oh, and how is this going to... Look at this combo lining up again. Oh, what a weird wow. match this has been. What is going really on? Tense. This is... Oh, dear. I mean, what are the odds that it just happens to end up like this well, all the time? I mean, so, he, so here's what's... Hit. The, the right side of the rack is loose, right? And the 10's opening up to the corner. I mean, it's tough to make modifications on the spot, but... But this think. one ball didn't have to end up just oh, next sure. to the 10, like I stuff like this. Yeah, like I, agree. I agree. There's I'd, been two or three more like that as well. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's not much more you can I think the ref do. is actually saying something to John Lehman, maybe, but they're con going to consider tapping the well, right it's, side of the rack. It's either the right side or just the ball under the 10 on the right, because there's two balls be underneath the 10. Uh -huh. And if the right one of them is loose, then it still drops down and right. Right. So, and then it bounces off the rail and still ends up I mean, in that corner. I think it look, looks like Christina's maybe suggesting that they tap one of the back balls in. Yeah, I mean, but I am quite positive nobody's liking it this way. Yeah. The referee and the players, like, everybody want to have a fair play. So, I'm sure he's going to try to do something. But it's such a coincidence. We've had quite a couple so far. Yeah, two each. Just two games away of advancing to the qualification round for the last eight players or getting to the shootout. Yeah, I think the women are still going to the final or uh, 16 qual or it's like a 16 redraw. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's qualification, yeah. Yeah. I got it that time. Ten ball didn't move. Made the six in the side. And no shot on the one, though. Two and three are tied up. So we're going to have some action in this round. And yeah, the <laughs> and now oh. Fenn didn't see there was oh, a no ball way. in. Oh, <laughs> Both that. players. <laughs> Not an easy opening shot, though, from here. Not No easy safeties. Yeah, I wonder, it's tough to swing the cue ball enough to to the right to get it behind the three. What other the options? only thing you could really pin to is get to the eight. 
two rails. But then that. if you don't get the hook, the one is most likely to be open. I see that, yeah. Not much else, though. I mean, I wouldn't push. I, you know, I think if you... Well, you can push maybe to the short rail underneath so you can have a thicker contact. Yeah. You might be able to cut the one to the left enough that even if you don't get behind the eight, the one is decently safe. Don't forget the two is tied up as well. Yeah, that's true. Oh, missed the whole ball. So what was that? We were just trying to thin it to the left, and then what? She there was no. Like, there was no. Also, really soft. Yeah, she hit it really soft. Like there was no coverage there. Kind of odd. I mean, there's a carom option from the two three. But I. Oh, but she's then. Go well, I was going to say fouls. then there was not really. A guaranteed position on the two. Right. So if I was going to be offensive here, I was thinking about breaking it out. But she's actually just going to go all in three fouls here. I mean, if she can stick the cue with the five and get the one near that long rail. Oh, this is looking good, though. Good stick. This is the perfect stick, eliminating both long rails. One's decently close to the 9-10. Where she can... Th th there is a 110 combo in case she oh, doesn't want to go for the 310. <laughs> we can't avoid it in this match. Is she, it she, she could still play for the three fouls if she tries to be nice, you know. Is you know, she might have actually been playing that. Like play yeah, maybe the, to try to get yeah. it next to the 10, maybe, yeah. yeah. That's a good shot. Yeah, I think she's gonna try and go around the eight, just like the one ball just did. I see that. It's tough, though. It's tough to duplicate the same thing mm -hmm. twice in a row. You'd want to hit some right spin on a two, and the five's kind of blocking the right side of the cue ball. Oh, she hit it good. Great hit. And, oh, nice little bump. Good hit. I like playing the cue ball behind the three here. Yeah. Christina hit that kick with a nice speed, too. She held the angles all the way through two rails, held the angles on the proper direction she was feeling. Oh, I, I would have gone behind the three. The other way around, is she? Oh, look at I this. Mean, this worked, oh. Yeah, this worked fine. She she played a hell of a shot, but do you think, I do not think I would try to play this again. Do you think she played it that way because she was trying to get the one near the eight for the second foul, maybe? I don't know. I'm I'm yeah. quite sure she was at least trying to push the one behind the eight to three, at least in that corner. Right. Or and then the, th the Cuba was bonus, I think. Yeah, or, or maybe get the one near the two, three, so she could break out the two, three, something like that. Interesting play. Got the ball in hand here. Again, she can get her right tied up with the eight. And maybe try to play the one back towards the ten again. I think I would be trying to push the one two rails and get it right in between the ten and the nine. That's if you stick play. the cue ball nice with the eight. That's a good play. I think you're eliminating most of the, the kicking, at least that way. Didn't quite get the one close enough to the 9-10. It's a little close to other rails, which is not an advantage, but she did stick her nicely. I mean, she doesn't have either of the two most obvious rails to kick at. It's got to go short rail first here. Yeah. Either She could go one rail. I don't usually like the one rail, so I guess I'm going two rails. I was even thinking three. Sh short, long. It's just going to open up on the third rail that much. Mm. Oops. Oh. Oh, and... <laughs> oh, no. It, it's happening it's, again. It's happening. I mean, I'm I'm swinging here. I'm going 110. Of Look course. at where the two, yeah, three yeah, is. You have, you, get, you have to. You we, have to. We, we, we can avoid it. It's unbelievable <laughs> how many times it just happens. This is... This is to go on the hill in the second set. Yeah, one step closer to that shootout, and this is a big shot. And also with the shot clock on, called her extension. 
The nerves are slowly getting to this arena. Got it. Great speed. Yeah. Three, two. Fen Yu Sheng from Chinese Taipei. What a match this has been. Interesting pool here. Both players playing good, mixed in with some combos, some good saves. Yeah, I think we've seen not just runouts. We've seen many different things. Mm -hmm. Quite enjoyable to watch so far. Yeah. I'm liking this match. Me too. She's gone to the middle of the last two breaks. She hasn't hit him square. She made a ball the second time she went to the middle, I think. I would guess she'd stay in the middle here. Yeah. This is the more offensive break. Going both ways. It you know, overall it'll open up the rack more. You're really hoping you make a ball in this spot though. Hit it nice and square there. Almost made a six. Yeah. And they all ended up in the middle. Oh, and a good chance here for Christina. Mm -hmm. One right. and a two in the open. Three, four, five all next to each other. So you might might have to play just forward and bump the nine and the ten or just the nine, depending on how thick she can land on it. Yeah. Would you just stay short side on the five? Probably. I mean, you could shoot her in the yeah. same pocket as well. See how she ends up on the four. I mean, depending, though. Depending if she gets straight or almost straight on the four, she can draw back for the five in the same pocket. Right. If she gets a little bit too much angle, she will float it in and shoot the five in the top right corner. Yeah. It's kind of depending on how she gets on the four next. I, I think I'd try to get straight on it and just stick to the short side. To play, it gets, in the, to play it in the side? Yeah, something something, uh, something I like I mean, about that. I don't know. The, not... the only thing I don't like is if you get too much angle on that five ball, now you got to use the short rail and it's missable. That's the only thing I could say. Mm -hmm. I'm sure he's she's going to play the five in the same pocket as the four. She likes, of, she likes these kind of shots. So. I was going to say, this one's a little straight to play it in the same pocket. We'll see. We have big power up here. You're right. Yeah, like I mentioned before, this is really her style. Sure. Like she likes those kind of shots. No sensitive stuff, just uh it's like a shade van boning type style, yeah. Yeah. So now I'm drawing back I mean she could just go forward a little bit and take a longer six, but I'm drawing back just back to the kitchen. Just get past the eight. Or do you think in between the seven eight? I know it's risky, but But that... then you get quite straight. Yeah, I think this is quite straight to get to the seven. It's not comfortable. Mm. The only thing I don't mind about it is the six is so close to the pocket. But I'm gonna she, go two rails if, forward. Yeah, here. if she cheats the pocket well, she can go two rails forward. Yeah, when you're hitting a thick ball like that, it, it takes so much energy out of the cue ball. It just came up a little short. You like stunning to the short rail here? Just wondering. It looks like she can hit it thick enough to play just top spin and run two rails up to the okay, eight. Okay, if she can, that's the shot. Yeah. No side spin. You're right. Such a big rack. Just going to draw this ball. The drawing track's kind of going towards the corner, but I think you just hit it with not enough speed to reach the corner. Lots of well, I would be there. aiming next to the 10 ball is already okay, just to sure. cut the 9. You don't even want to get close to that corner. 
Played a bit of a delayed draw, got her got her away from the corner. Nice shot. Now two rails for the Temple on the yeah. right side. Yeah. Take note of this. Even little shots like this for you guys at home. You know, you want to play you always want to you know, depending on the angle, but you want to play into the second rail there, play into the angle. She's coming towards the position by playing two rails there. The obvious shot might be one, but the proper shot is two. So, Hill, Hill. Great match. Hill, Hill, second set. Just one game to determine the winner or a shootout. Yeah, high quality from both ladies. Christina's been breaking from the side rail. She, I think she made a ball and maybe half her breaks. I'd stick there. Yeah, always, if you're making balls, then never even think about sure. changing, of course. Yeah, and and it, with a ref, ref rack situation, if you're between, like, 50 and 70% on the break, I think you stick with the same one. Yeah. Ref making sure the ten ball stays a little bit closer to the rack. So there we go. Three each, one rack to go. One was going towards the side but got kicked out on the way there. And no ball. That five ball did come to the rescue, so no open shot on the one ball. Yeah, I have a feeling she can't see it at all. I have a feeling it's a push. Might be able to she see the might, very right edge of yeah. it. Yeah. If she can see the right edge of it, there is a couple safety opportunities, though. Yeah. Could cut the one into the seven. I think she can actually maybe even see enough of it that she plays the one past three nine. Cue ball to the right. I have to hit it thinner. At least there's distance here. She's actually... Yeah, she was trying to get the one behind the eight and run the cube all the way up to the long rail, but caught it. She did play with a little left spin, mm -hmm. which took also some speed out of the cue ball. Right spin, you think? No, left. It looked yeah. like... Left, because it came up so short from the second rail. I know what you mean, yeah. It was... Which to where I would like to play with right spin. Then usually you get you gain speed off the rails. Yeah, you would think outside. it would have been right. Yeah, it just looked a little flat. Maybe she played center ball. I was guessing yeah. based on what the cue ball did. Now expecting Christina to play a stop shot, take a long two. It's there, and then now to go four rails. Just gotta make sure it's a small window though to run into the five or to scratch. If you go four rails. Yeah, I mean, the other play is to run into the 3-9, and that's risky, obviously. The, another play she might want to do is to play with inside and run either in the four or the six. I see that. Makes the shot a lot tougher, but it could be a perfect result if it's executed properly. Looks like she's running into the 3-9. We'll need a good bump here. Quite get it. She can make it. Cue ball is going to be traveling heavily forward. The other option is to play just a good safety. Two rails behind the 10. Bang the three ball to the center of the table. It's a little tough to see from our angle how thin these shots are. I mean, you know, it's, it's makeable, but is it really that thin that it's a very tough shot? It looks like she might be going for it. Could just be playing the three in line with the four, six. Cue as ball well. behind the seven? Yeah. No. Oh, she caught a window. No, no. nine's going to get there. <clears throat> okay, nice distance. Good cover and not a real easy kick shot, though. Yeah, she I can. think I'm liking going over the right long rail and kick from the back two rails. I see that, yeah. Call the three in the side just in case. A lot of, a lot of traffic down table, a lot of chances to get something in between the cue ball and the three or you can go one rail and try to hit it head on and send the three ball up table mm -hmm. 
which some players really like to play that way. I'm a too real guy. I uh, me too. Did she call the side? I didn't quite see. Pretty low percentage that will actually go. She's going one real. You're oh, right. she feathered it, and I think she caught a bit of a roll. I would guess she left the shot, but so close that Christina had to get down to look at it. And then also the four doesn't go in the right side pocket, so if she makes it, it's quite tough to get it on the four anyhow. Right. Oh, she doesn't go to the bottom right corner. She's got to jump, so. Yeah, got her golden PK rush out. Imagine she hits it so good that she draws back for the four in the <laughs> corner she's standing over. Oh, it got close. And, well, the three ball did not even hit, hit any traffic. Wow. And got fortunate. She's going to hit the three 100% here. The kick safe is to try to play the cue ball behind the 10. Yeah, hoping she called a corner just in case. Yeah. I wouldn't be really trying to make it there. Yeah, but it's always good to call something. It'll never hurt you to call something. Oh, she the caught wall, it at least. really nice. Yeah. Beauty of a shot from Ben Yusheng. I think she'll get aggressive and try to jump this in. It's a long distance jump. Got to be a strong jumper. Well, I think there's a bunch of good things that can happen if you catch the inside of the three. The left mm -hmm. side. Then again, she called the top right corner, but it's not something I would be trying to do. Right. It's just a, yeah, what if. if? That's what I would have been worried about kicking it that way. I know she wasn't trying to hit that side of it, but that's what I would have been worried about. I wonder how much, how much of a pocket the 4 has past the 10, because it's much easier to play the 4 past the 10 than in any other pocket. At this point of the match, I wouldn't be even surprised if there would be another 4-10 combo. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just yeah. saying. I'm just throwing it out there. <laughs> Yeah, it's a tough position. Is if she... the four passes the ten to like three quarters of the pocket, I would play it. I don't like it. Yeah. I don't like to shoot that four in the same corner as where the ten is. So, is she able to? She's gonna draw it over to the right side and play the four in the bottom, bottom left. left. Yeah. No. Nope. Oh, why would you go that way if you're playing the four in the corner? Wouldn't you just draw straight back? Kind of weird. Oh, she's called a ten. Wow. Just this can't get away from these combos. It's crazy. <laughs> so, but then this is to get to the shootout. Big shot here. It's going to end up one set each. We're not hoping either way, but this would be nice if this went in. What a shot. Oh, and it's in. What a match. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> this has been unreal so far. So, Christina's going for a little break, and we'll be right back with the deciding shootout. Don't go anywhere.
and we are back here. Christina the Crystal to catch and Fen Yu Sheng are ready to decide this match in shootout fashion. Both players get four shots each. And if the score draws after those four, the box will shrink. They will go one diamond back and we'll go to sudden death. Here is shot one. Ooh, oh. opener. Miss on the opener. So it would be a good opportunity for Fen. Put some pressure on Christina early on. Yeah, all the players haven't been in a shootout si situation since Vegas, since the, the Alpha Open in Vegas. It's the first Predator Pro Series of the year, so it's a whole other animal, the, the mental strength you have to have to step up there and pocket, pocket that one ball. But they practice it for sure, too. They know they're coming to a tournament like this. They put time into it. So Fen Yusheng, first shot. Oh, also Whoa. a little wide. Yeah, for sure, some nerves in the arena. If you look at both players' body language, it, I feel there is some tension. Do you have a pocket you prefer shooting into, the right or the left one? or? I think the, the side she's shooting from right now. I prefer that side too. I think most right-handed players do. Got it. Yeah, there it goes. I think it's also a matter of there's nothing in the way while lining up, so you don't have the rail. You know, you like mean. and being a little bit annoying. How you present, how you position your front arm is a little bit easier on the if you're shooting on the right side well, of the for, table. For a right, for a right handed yeah. player, yeah. You're right handed. Yeah. Yeah, me too. But there's many different ways. A lot of people like to stun the cue ball around. These ladies have been playing it quite soft. I've seen that. I've seen people go four rails around and hitting it really firm. Many different styles. Everybody's got their own favorite way to shoot it. But the fan needs to make one here. Oh, Ooh, and again too wide. Yeah. It. So, both players shot two. Score is 1-0 for Christina Tkach. Could extend her lead here. Fan has played a shootout before, I'm assuming, because she's played in Pro Series events. Oh, wow, and that just tri barely dropped. Triple rattle and snuck in there. Ooh. So 2-0, and this will be very important for Fen Yu Sheng to make this one. Almost sudden death time. If she she needs to make this one to stay in the match, is that no, right? No, no. Uh, if she doesn't make this one and Christina doesn't make the next one. Christina's made two. Oh, Fen needs to make well, it. Yeah, yeah, she needs to make it, yeah. yeah. All the pressure. And the shot clock is still there too. Mm -hmm. Nice oh. hit. Rattled in again, but made it this time. So it's all in Christina's hands now. She makes this one. She will advance in the next round. There could be some drama coming if she doesn't make this one sure wouldn't wouldn't expect anything less the way the rest of this match has gone shame someone has to lose they both played well yeah L look for them to do well going forward in the tournament whoever wins or loses Oh, and there it goes. Wobble, every, wobble. Every 10 ball made wobbled in, too. What a match. What a match. Christina Tkach advances, and Fen Yu Shang will have to go through the loser's bracket. This was Eric Gooy-Leifson and myself, Tim de Ruiter. Thank you all, and we'll be soon back with our next match. Thank you. Back in 10 minutes. See, Talk to you guys soon.